favorite. Where's Arlo? He must be in his room. This is his room. Where is he, Sam? God, what have you done? Mission accomplished. about kicking on psychic ass. I believe I can wave that edict in this instant. Got any more ideas, Travis? I'm a lawyer. What can I do? Request an injunction? Can't you wish you were in a court field or something? I'll try. Damn, you've really been holding out on me. No, Incredible. Look the way they move. Yeah, look the way they die. Hurry up! Oh, you useless dipshit! Hurry, stop, hurry, hey, one of these things has numbers. I, I, I gotta get, I gotta get closer. Then get closer. Break. It's, it's not working. Safe and die. Christ. I needed blood. It looks like you're about to have all the blood you can handle. And then some. Astrid and Teresa are trapped upstairs. Was that part of your master plan, too? They're collateral damage. Sorry. We're this close to getting what we need. If Astrid gets hurt, so help me God! You'll what? You'll shoot me? You'll shoot your brother? I'll kick your scrawny ass. No, you won't. I'll tell you what you'll do. You'll let her go. Just like you let Laura go. And then maybe I'll step in with Astrid, too. What did you say? Did you sleep with Laura? Did you sleep with my wife? Listen, I shouldn't have said that. I 
I should have known. You always had a thing for her. Ever since I brought her home, and you never could get your own girlfriend. No, 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 no. Don't make this about me. This is about you. You and your failures. As a father. As a husband. God damn it. God. We should... He can fight his own battles. Can't you, Sam? You're not a kid anymore. Oh, you are so righteous. That's just like you. The morally upright Bill Clark. A paragon of virtue. You're so busy pursuing your own damn sainthood that you forget your wife has needs. You weren't there for them, Bill. You disappeared in 2012. I only remember through September 2009. It's 2026 where I come from. Laura waited a long time. How much of her life was she supposed to give up? Tell me how it happened. You want diagrams or something? Oh, damn it. I need to know. I deserve to know. We started spending time together. I went over to take the kids to the park. We did some work around the house. One night, she invited me upstairs. No one was more surprised about it than I was. It seemed cruel for me to reject her. Yeah. You're such a good Samir. I can take your anger, Bill. Focus it on me. Don't blame Laura. I'm sure it would be almost 80 in 2026. That woman is none of your concern. Tell me what she's like in 2026. I'm not supposed to tell you anything about the shape of things to come. You started to. About Ward 6, you visited Frances Mayhaven. You can't be with her, Bill. Not ever. Not shy of some act of God. Why? Because of the reality we came from, she's older than me? Her contemporaries here. I understand my stock is low right now, but trust me when I tell you, you can never be together. It's physically impossible. She's tricked you about a lot of things. I don't believe you. You believe a suicidal nutcase over your own brother? Well, she didn't put up the welcome mat for the outdoors, did she? Oh, come on. We can go home heroes. One day you'll thank me for this. For this and freeing you from the clutches of Francis May Haven. I told you, Mr. Clark. Hands off. Stop fighting, you guys. Please. Astrid and Teresa need our help. This isn't over between you and me. I don't care which one you morons to sleep on who's stupid-ass wife. As far as I'm concerned, you both can die horrible deaths right now. The point is, someone I do care about is in danger, and we need to deal with that now. Light show was a one-shot deal. I require time to recover, perhaps an hour or so. Make it half an hour. The guys are still downstairs. And without us, they're gonna talk some sense into them. They're likely to kill each other outright or otherwise do something foolish that could get them killed or captured. I predict a much greater chance of the former outcome. I was just thinking that I don't trust Sam, but uh, you're probably right. How long before they're in here? That lock won't hold long. The first pasty bastard that comes through that door is going to eat lead. And the second? More lead. And the third? I get it. I get it. We've got more outdoors than we've got bullets. Precisely. Which is why we require another solution if we wish to survive this crisis. Well, the house is locked down. The cavalry's not coming over the hill this time. Unless you can pull another rabbit out of your psychic hat. Astrid, a necessary precursor to any successful strategy is the accumulation of information. Therefore, I believe we should persist with the hypnosis. With the big bad wolf huffing and puffing at the door? It's literally now or never, and I sense that this attack and our amnesia are connected in some way. We have to know. All right, but it's going to be hard for me to focus. This is not news to me. We must power through. Why doesn't he just break the glass? I think it's Mr. Pacey. He's afraid of me. Why would he be afraid of you? Because I snapped his neck. Well, great. 
If he's so civilized, why don't you invite him in for a hot cup of tea? Or better yet, go for a ride in the country, driving Mr. Pacey. Well, that boy's really warm in here. We're going to make a move. It's got to be soon. Bill, there's a way. I just have to think of it. Well, think fast, MacGyver. We're running out of time. Wait. We can get to Astrid and Teresa. The telemeters! Why didn't I think of this before? You've had a lot on your mind. Stupid. That's my problem. Well, at least to finally hear you admit you have a problem. That's the first step to recovery. Now the telemeters? We can reconfigure them. Bring them for short-range, site-to-site teleport. We get upstairs, get after and Teresa, and transport back down here. You and me, Travis. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Allow me to inject a degree of logic into this debate since it's painfully absent. I believe I explained we only have eight telemeters, and they each only operate once. If you go upstairs, get two people, and I'll come back, that's six telemeters down. That's unacceptable. I'll give up my ticket home if it saves her lives. I'll stay here. Ditto. Bye, honey and darling. Me too. And you'll still have enough telemeters to get back with an outdweller. Uh, I'd be trapped here. Brick's right. I'm not leaving you here. You need to get back to your family. You're just going to have to accept that Teresa and Astrid are casualties of war. Give me the telemeter, Sam. You know what your problem is, Bill? That redhead's got you whipped. You're pussy whipped and you're not even getting any. Oh, you're an awfully brave man with those guns to back you up. Mr. Smartass, you think you can take me? Rick, this isn't the mission. I have stolen a cheese mo. You're a pretty smart man, Sam. To know your guy's gonna lose. Oh, that's a laugh. You know, I've taken out bigger freaks than you. While I was back in law school, oh god, they're in the kitchen. Put the gun down, Sam. You're not gonna shoot me. You wouldn't shoot your own brother. The telemeter's bro. Now. Sorry, but I just don't think you have it in you. Uh, all right, all right, all right. The telemeters are here. No problem. That absolutely. We've got Emma Bastard and Teresa. I'm totally on board with that. To do anything less would just be inhuman. Sure, sure. I want all eight of them. Why all eight? Because I said so. And I'm calling the shots here now. You want the telemeters? They're, they're yours. I, I just want to know, when, when you're done with them, when, when we've rescued your friends, are you going to need the last two back? Can you handle that? All right. Lock and load, baby. I need you to keep an eye on these two. Oh, I'll be happy to do that. You all right with this? Just don't let them get near you. That's not necessary. We're all just one big happy family. How do you know which room to teleport to? They could be anywhere up there. We'll stand for them. This thing comes in handy. Alright. You're gonna need time to rewire these things. Please move forward. We're running out of time. There's a light up ahead. Movement. It's me. I'm bleeding, but my eyes are open. My God, what happened to us? What is this place? 
Pastor Ruth say, wait, I, I hear something. Someone's coming. Help, brothers. They're here. They've taken us prisoner. Then we never made it home. Vitality told us that we could return to what remains of our consensus reality. I fear that's what you stumbled upon. What we stumbled upon when we left the house. Can you see anything else? No. All that's left of the world, of the whole earth, is this wasteland, this nothingness. We were warned. Sam described to us the portents, signs of a devastating war that destroyed everyone and everything on the planet. Can you see what the outdwellers are doing? They're bringing out Arlo and Bill. I'm going over to them. They've done something to them. Put some kind of creatures on their foreheads. Be specific. They look like they're alive, like they're breathing. They look like leeches. Brain probes. They were reading our minds. Bill and Arlo, their, their mouths are moving. They're, they're whispering words like they're acting something out or seeing something else. Uncreate. This may account for our altered memories. These creatures, these devices, they may have been feeding them information, false memories. Sam. They mention Sam by name. Bill and Arlo have been compromised. We all have, to one degree or another. We are all playing a role in an outdweller tactic. It's the house. It's pulling us back. Rescuing us. Open your eyes. Thank you, Astrid. We now know the truth. Our memories were tampered with by the outdwellers. As a part of a stratagem to seize this house, perhaps, to bring Sam here. Bill and Arlo were used as unwitting sleeper agents. Woo! Be the up, Scotty! What a rush! Astrid, I'm glad you're both safe. How did you... The telemeters. And we brought enough to get you both back downstairs to safety. Uh, relative safety. I thought there were only eight telemeters. None of us are going home, Cherry Pie. It was either that or let you and Miss Psychic Vibrations bite the dust. Do you have them all? I figure it would be prudent for one of us to be holding the cards instead of Sam. Good. Fork them over. Why? here in this room. What? That's not right. Let me see that. No. This is malfunctioning. There's no other logical explanation. You're ignoring the obvious explanation. Um, could somebody fill us in your morals in on the conversation? According to this scan, there are two people in this room who share an overabundant amount of genetic material with the app dwellers. Which two people? Sam and me. But Sam's interpreting things incorrectly as usual. It's not we who share their DNA, but they who share ours. It's Clark DNA. But how is that possible? Precisely how far did your genetic engineering experiments get, Sam? Far enough to run clinical tests. We programmed nanoscopic robots to go in and manually rewrite the existing genetic maps of our subjects. You mean human beings? Yes. Who else are we going to experiment on? But are you trying to tell me that the outdwellers are not actually... some alien enemy? They're not demons from hell. But the direct result of generations, perhaps millennia of genetic reprogramming, you experimented with your own genetic makeup to alter the future of the human race. It's true. Even now I'm taking this specially designed cocktail of genetic enhancements, 
Right now, I have a million nanoscopic robots inside me, improving me, making me better, stronger. Already, I've eliminated the need for sleep, and so much more. Dr. Clark, you must realize that what you've seen here is the end result of your tinkering with the human form. The very creatures you're trying to combat, capture, are your creations. So you mean Sam and everybody else in that clinical test is going to end up an outdweller? Eventually. After generations of evolution? You need to tell us what you're trying to change. What are those nanobots of yours rewriting exactly? I, I program them to enhance certain components like survivability and, and durability, the ability to see in the dark, thicker, less vulnerable skin. What else did you take out of the equation? The human soul? I removed everything I saw as detrimental to the human animal, including some human emotions I saw as irrelevant. Why couldn't you two Clark boys go into real estate or something? Save the world a lot of trouble. It all makes sense now. That's why the scouting party came for Bill. Not because they smelled blood, but because they smelled Clark blood. They recognized something in him. Something... Kindred. Not their DNA, but that of a brother nonetheless. They can't think in terms of family, in terms of human bonds. Sounds like you can't either. They are intelligent, though. They calculated the contingency, and here we are. At their mercy. They couldn't have planned this. They'd have to be geniuses. They'd have to have computer-like minds. They'd have to calculate every move, counter-move, and outcome given a wide array of variables. Maybe you haven't noticed, Sam, but the Clarks are planners and thinkers. If the outdwellers inherited your DNA, then they possess those qualities, too. They're smart. Smart enough. Smart enough to calculate that Vitality would rescue us and bring us back inside the house. Smart enough to send Arlo and me back with new knowledge and abilities, so we could punch a hole in the house, corrupt its structure, ensure they could find a way inside. Smart enough to know that Sam would eventually find us. That's just nuts. What would they want with me? Maybe freaks are just drawn to freaks. What's that? The outdoors. It looks like they're attempting to harness the powers of the house. Manifest more of themselves. A lot more. Can they do that? Yes. And once they're inside, they'll have enough combined mental energy to destabilize the house's core structure. What do we do? Then the herd. Rick's right. If the outdoors have formed some kind of multi-headed hydra, a cathexis of self-directed inimical mental energy, then we need to break as many links in that chain as we possibly can before they destroy the house. Any more metaphors you want to throw in that sense? We need to destroy as many of them as we can, as fast as we can. Is that simple enough for you? Give me back my guns. Give me the gun. You should stay here. I'll help Bill. <laughs> Not a chance. I don't want you taking pity on any of your blood brothers. You can't beat them. They're stronger than you. They're better than you. You don't have much faith in them, do you? Don't worry. If we don't survive, becoming an outdoor shouldn't be too painful for you. You lost your soul a long time ago. Over the door. We'll all be killed. Yeah. 
you get the opportunity to die for your country. Congratulations on your patriotism, soldier. Who <laughs> lost it, Doc? Open the door. Sam, please don't do this. I'll give your regards to Laura, and I promise it'll be quick for you and your friends. Now mate with a telemeter. I got what you want. Work it over. Don't do it, after. Let him live with the consequences of his actions just once in his life. If we're all going to die here, let him die with us. Quit stalling and toss the telemeter. Bye. Sam, please. Can't you see? You've changed. You've destroyed yourself. I don't need a sermon. Goodbye, bro. Sam. You have something to say to me, Francis May? At least leave us alone so we have a fighter chance. Have a nice trip. The house is operational again. I can once more sense Vitality's presence. I wonder if the house knew all along that we were being manipulated by the outdwellers. Like it cut off access to the control panel until we could figure it out. That's a distinct possibility. The house wished to protect us, but it could not permit us, the sleeper agents, to have access to the control panel and let the outdwellers in. I only wish the damn house would have let us in on that. God works in mysterious ways, Travis, and so apparently to build smart houses. The energy here is weaker than normal. Although the house is operational again, I can sense that it still has a ways to go before it reaches prime condition. What's normal in this place anyway? Good question. Looks like I'm not going home anytime soon. My mission was to protect the dock and Ms. Bravado here kind of ruined that. Sorry, he had it coming. I don't disagree. I'm just saying I don't know much failure. So we have another housemate. Sam's 48 hour window is long since passed. This last telemeter is still operational, but it wouldn't do you any good. The quantum eclipse has already cut off your escape route back to your reality. Still, you're welcome to try. Keep it, Mr. Clark. I never want to see those things again. Well, in that case, let me be the first to say welcome to the house at the end of the universe, Sergeant. Thanks, I think. We're gonna move into the kitchen. Let me near the food supply. Kitchen's taken. Um, and we'd better lock up your guns too, just to be safe. Kill Joy. So, what do you do for fun around here? Well, uh, we argue a lot. Sometimes Teresa makes us go crazy with her moon bat psychic crap. And every now and then, if we're very, very lucky, Astro turns into an infomaniac. Glad to see your sense of humor survive the outdwellers. I wasn't joking. It sounds like I'm going to be bored here really quick. Well, the upstairs bathroom needs cleaning. I'm on it. I mean it. But I want to be with you. 
Now I can be. You told me before you wanted me to be your friend. Your friend and nothing more. What's changed now? I'm free. Don't you understand? All the things I've been holding on to, they don't matter anymore. No. What's changed is that you feel hurt and betrayed. And you want to sleep with someone. Anyone. Because Laura slept with Sam. It's still all about your damn perfect life, even now. It isn't true. Tell me something, Bill. What's our future? If we ever get out of this place, where do I fit in with the respectable Clark family? Do you go back to Laura, or do you stay with me? How would you feel introducing me to your daughters? I don't know. Why does that matter now? Because it does. Because I've been down this road. It's not my scene anymore. You wanted me once. You came to me in my room. As much of a jerk as Sam was, he saw some things pretty clearly. Like what? Like the fact that I can never be the sort of woman you can love. That I will never be worthy in your eyes. You'll go to Travis and to Sam. But when someone loves you, comes to you with real, true emotion, maybe Sam was right about you. Go on and play the jilted lover. Talk about ego. It's all about Bill Clark and his tragic suffering. <laughs> <laughs>